Pam Yonke in the radio barn with your Friday Ag Report. Hi, Pam. Hi. And it doesn't, I don't often get the chance to say that traders feel optimistic, Mark, but today they do, and I'll take it. That's kind of the reason why the Dow Jones Industrial Average is up, too. Uh, to the commodity traders see that Germany and France have probably resolved some of their issues over the debt situation in Greece. So going into this G20 summit that they're going to have this weekend, uh, traders are feeling pretty positive that they're going to come away with some decent resolutions on that situation. That makes everybody in the world relax just a little bit. Let's get to the livestock. You know how it goes. We're done for the week, so this is kind of taking a look almost to next week's uh, numbers, uh, the cattle, the beef, and uh, the steers, that's pretty much established for the week. But take a look at the lamb market for next week. See a little bit of bump up on those market lamb prices for next week if you're planning on selling there. Take a look at what's going on in the grain trade. Our corn market is still up, but our soybeans have suddenly gone negative on me, at least on the nearby. So uh, be mindful of that as you look at our grain elevators. I talked to some of our country elevators today. Cottage Grove, for example, said that the moistures are coming in 18 to 21 percent on the corn being delivered. Test weights look very, very good around south central Wisconsin, better than expected on the yields. But it's a different situation when you go towards the Milwaukee area. Talking with my grain elevators over there, they said the corn that's been coming in today, very, very light with test weights under 50 pounds. That's going to be a grain management issue for those elevators and for the growers. Uh, as far as dairy is concerned, still trending higher in class three cheese milk on the midday. Not a lot of action on our dairy product prices. Barrel cheese down a half a cent again today to 169 well 40 pound black cheese and double a butter finish unchanged so that's what's going on out there today mark uh after all that windiness yesterday the the soybeans are very dry in southwest wisconsin the combines are going to continue to roll so long as mother nature keeps us dry we don't worry so much about that overnight frost and freeze anymore our season was done with that uh, kind of business uh, probably a week ago but the combines still are rolling they're gonna be rolling this weekend with that weather forecast on yes pretty good I'm going home to Combine, so you know everybody. <laughs> everybody is. All right, well, have a great weekend. <laughs>